uh, Professor Marcelo Stella in the Castro. Uh, he'll, he'll make a presentation entitled The Importance of Supervising Energy Consumption and Production. And I asked him to present himself to you. Thank you, Johnny. Well, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. I thank for the invitation to to present some uh, some talk about the importance of supervising energy and consumption and production. Uh, we I work with uh, research and develop for more than fifteen years with different uh, companies, electric companies. You saw Paulo uh, talking about an help research and develop, development projects. So I coordinate two projects, as you see, as long as the presentation. And so uh, I start to, to see the importance of acquiring data, treating data. So I'm talking about it, it in the, the next few slides. So let's go on. Well, why supervising our plant? We did, uh, we installed more than five, 24 uh, plants of PV generation in our universe. So you have to monitor it, to supervise it. Uh, you need to acquire data from different platforms. You need to uh, to, to, to deal with different program language, different approach to forecast. So it's a complex environment and we need to deal with that. And I will show you some case studies about uh, doing these uh, data sets work for you. How can you use this data set? How can you improve your generation? How can you um, uh, choose what efficient energy projects you you can do. So that that's go on. Well, let's start. Why supervise your plant? Because you cannot improve some, something you are not monitoring. That's the basics. Everybody here have this feeling. In the past, you you, you, you cannot count with Paul. Paul the Octops was a famous predicting. Uh, result in results for World Cup. Well, we can ask Paul. My students now have to. Oh, I, I will ask ChatGPT to get a code for this problem or that. Okay, it, it could work, but only if you get a large amount of money. And like Ikad said, not not any amount of of data, but accurate data, treated data. We saw on the on the paper presentations yesterday the importance of uh, sh treat your data and uh, and take out all the anomalies so you get a, a reliable data set to analyze a problem. Uh, so the solution get as much as data you can store it and treat it so this is calling in data science etl extract transform and load then the challenges begin treating different data of types uh, from different equipment getting measured using iot so you have problems with antennas with the signal with interference so that's another complication. And you have to extract data from different platforms. I show you we have more than five platforms and you have to use some APIs and you have to aggregate all this data in a single table. So it's, it's a big problem. And another big problem is it's big data. You have to store it, you have to, to have a backup you have to have this data uh, spawnability uh, for for anybody. We have issues with cybersecurity. He didn't talk about it, but it's a big problem. Who can access the data? Who can maybe transform the data, adulter the data? 
so it's have impact in, in our analysis. Here, I show you, you use different tools. These are some that I we use at uh, UFG. We use uh, PulseGree SQL, and we use VPNs to cyber secure, to restrict access of data. Uh, we use our language, we use Python, and the many things that Python can give to us. Uh, sometimes we have to install the smart meters controllers in Windows 7 because of restriction. We cannot use only Linux. So that, that's uh, like we are cooking a lot of ingredients and we have to mix that. And we choose Microsoft Power BI to make a dashboard and to communicate the information. So it's, it's a good uh, work. It gives us good results, as you see in the next slides. So uh, that's uh, where we start, uh, supervise our plant. In 2016, uh, I started to conduct an NL project, Research ID. It's a part of another 12 projects all over the country of Brazil. It's an NL project. And then I, at that time, I met Uncle Luis Carlos to coordinate a similar project here at uh, Unicamp. And we start to collaborate and trade ideas until today. That's why I'm here. And then Luis Carlos created CPTAIN. Sepetene, our center in Sao Paulo. And in the project, in 2018, we start to install and measure our smart meters. More than 100 smart meters installed in our campus. It's similar like Campus Sustentável. So we control a lot of more than 100 buildings. You see in the data set how many. And in 2019, the first power PV plant will start to generate. Here uh, is a rooftop in a, one of our buildings. So we start to have to deal with different platforms. We have some inverters in VAG uh, platform, USX, like your, in your browser. It was, uh, in this day, key, you can see how much we gener energy we generate. We have another platform from Solis. It's a Chinese platform. We have some smart meters from a uh, Brazilian company, ISU. We have another smart meter from CCK. So that's our environment. Well, but this environment uh, permit us to, or possibility us to analyze the past and the present and to forecast and to cluster in similar types of consumption and to detect the patterns and to create KPIs. And with these KPIs, we can assure that the building is consumed consumption is okay, it's not okay, and you can in intervene. So as you see in the studies, case studies, well, for, first of all, my boss asked me, we are generating energy in our, in our power PV plants. When it's the right time to clean, like Shakespeare, Shakespeare said, clean or not clean, when? How to quantify the benefits? So let's look at our data. We, uh, let me show you a little bit. We have three weather stations, two of UFG, and another it's a Brazilian project that have a lot of weather stations installed in many cities. But this data set is available for everyone, even for, for you. You can access it and download. 
we start to collect the invoices of water consumption. Uh, Ildo will present in the afternoon some, some strategy to uh, acquire the PDF, transform the PDF using Python, and so collect the data and, and store it in a, in a database. We do the same with the invoice of electricity, and we have online meters. So we have 170 meters online. They produce the data. We use an API and put it in the PostgreSQL bank. So it's available. Today, or in this date, 1st of December, we have more than 2 million lines in database. So it's increasing every day. In this case, varying from 5 to 50 minutes, we acquire information of 170. And we have, as I show you, the VAG inverters. There are 53. There are four solids inverter, and we have an invert from, a, I think, German company, TEA. So if you aggregate it in a single table, we have six, five inverters, and the increase in line is every second. So that's why we have a, a big data. And we have to assure the communication. So we use fiber optics, we use 5G, we use um, Wi-Fi, with a lot of different kind of network communication, physical. So uh, we, using Power BI, you, you can put a, a map. We have 24 power plants, and they are distributed in this map. So. You can drill draw the the size of this bubble is the how much generates energy. So this is uh, well. Let's you. I present you the data set. So the question: uh, How how can we clean in how benefits it generate? So which is another power plant. There are 10 lines of PV models and five inverters. So two lines for each inverter. And we start to analyze the, the changing when you clean the, these PV models. Um, let's summarize it in one dashboard. It's a, maybe a very complex dashboard, but I will show you something to get your attention. Until 10 uh, of August 10, all the, the PV models are the dirt. OK, so we, s we select one of the inverters, the 11, as um, a, a, a main inverter. So uh, it's a control sample. We will compare the other generation based on inverter 11. So uh, before, when everybody is dirt, they generate the same, 100, 100, 100, OK. And in day 11, we clean the PV models. So let's see. Well, one is 100, everybody is clean, and the other is 21% less generation. And we go for a week. And you see it can change. 23, 21, 22, 21. And then after one week, we clean in the PV models of the inverter 12. Let's see what happened. Well, 100 to 11 and 12, and the others, Continue dirt, 78, 70, uh, 20. So at least 20 less generation because they are dirt. And then 
uh, sadly, it started to rain. So our experiment was aborted because every panel was cleaned by the nature. But it gave us another insight. Uh, from 21 and 22 of August, you can see the difference between 78 to 88 percent. What I, uh, we can say, uh, before rain, 78 percent. After rain, rain, 88. So the rain increase the capacity of generation 10 percent. But if you clean the panels, 22%, 20%. So my boss decided to create our own team, schedule the maintenance, and we are clean all the 24 PV plants in a scheduled way. And we monitoring the benefits of this clean. 20% is a large amount of generation that you are losing. If you if you not mount your team and you start you wait for rain, you improve ten percent. So that's what's important to to have data, and you can you can have another analyze. So oh, one one inverter is generated less than the other in our clean or our dirt. So that's a problem. We are trying to. Uh, have an approach in uh, fly a drone with a thermal camera, analyze the production. So another date from camera. Uh, Ricardo said we had some five parameters between this 117. So it get a different type of, uh, of data and we uh, have to analyze. But we're few, so we have to choose what to analyze, what to put effort, and we did what to give us more uh, uh, more results. That's the second uh, data set that want, I want to present you. It's uh, generated with information of CPT, or Centro Paulista de Transição Energética. We have water consumption from Federal University of Goiás, from uh, UNESP, from UNICAMP. We treat the invoice, the PDF invoice from UNESP, UFG. Uh, we, uh, we have a power plant in the gymnasium of UNICAMP, so we access it. And there are five inverters, so we start to get the measures and to analyze. And that's a presentation, paper presentation about these results uh, today or tomorrow. You you can see. Uh, Luis Carlos comment the comment about the gas. So we can monitor the invoice of gas and analyze uh, the difference between the the past and, and now. And we have. I, I told you, we have um, weather measurement here in, in the city here, uh, Campinas, and we care about the temperature. And I, I, I saw the difference in Europe. You have two heats because it's cool. And here we have the same problem. We use a large amount of energy to uh, air conditioning system because it's very hot. So the temperature has a, a key important in the consumption of energy in Brazil. In another stud, uh, and I'll show you, uh, we have a building uh, where our classes. So we have more than 55 uh, classrooms and we monitor the consumption. When it's very hot, and all the air conditioners are up. 9.1 and 9.3% of the building consumption energy is go to air conditioning. So uh, if you can do something to, to, to decrease it, 
it's very impacted. So uh, we are, sh I show you about uh, the consumption of energy and cross reference with the consumption of water. So Power BI will give us the opportunity to filter the period of your analyze. And then you have a large amount of consumption in electricity and a big one in, in water. Well, but I, I can see it. it's, it's OK. Let's do draw. When you do draw, you see the consumption per month, January, February. But there are events that affect this, this data. We have problems in disponibility of money to pay. So in two months, we didn't pay in negotiations of debt. So they were diluted in the other. So we don't have energy information consumption by the company in these two months. And you can, uh, you can see that the problem in WFG is a large amount of money spending in electricity. I show you in, in another study of case that uh, in schools in Sao Paulo state, they spend more money in water than in electric. We'll show you. So I will attack the reduce the consumption of water first here. But here we, we try to, that's why we put 24 power plants because we are trying to achieve 30% of own generation to decrease the amount of money in paying for electricity. So th that's we can cross reference two different type of data and try to understand the, 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 how, how you waste your money. Well, another uh, approach. We have different type of air conditioner system. So we evaluate the change for the traditional air conditioner to evaporative coolers. So the evaporative coolers, that's a, a, a picture here. They, they work in a different way. So they increase the humidity. And so it cool the, the ambient. So it's a different approach. We start to change the common air conditioner to this uh, evaporative uh, air condition. So that's uh, the installation, that's our building. We install it in each room. And let's give you a, a little look. We have two uh, learning centers. They are the same building. The, near the same area uh, with the different uh, in students in the period of the analyze, but they are the same. So we are trying to let give one with the air conditioner, let take the other per the other building baru with the evaporative coolers. Well, let's start to see the data. So we have a difference in consumption energy consumption about 50.1 so it's it's in interesting so uh, as we have money we we'll change air conditioning from the traditional to the evaporative coolers and we will decrease the consumption of energy uh, another uh, case of stud that we are doing here in sao paulo is to analyze a subset of schools. So first of all, we start with uh, 84 uh, schools and we hang it with a code to suppress the name of the school. But there are code, school, school number 30 have almost 1500 50, occupants, uh, like students, staff and uh, professors and these are the the data they spend per um, i think uh, per month 
327,000 in water. So you can do an KPI. You can divide the water consumption by the occupants. And you can do another KPI. So you have the electricity consumption, and you have occupants, and you have telephone, and you can, or you can aggregate. Oh, so in, in this to case to show you, uh, you can, if you are using Power BI, you can click here and ordinate by payments. And you, I sum water, energy, and telephone. So this is code, code 30. It's the most, uh, it's a high value. And we have another KPIs and you can analyze another KPI per day, per work day. So it, you can play with this data sets. And okay, I, I'm finished. So uh, you can do and you can start. Well, this is cool. I will uh, implement a um, power plant to reduce the consumption of energy, or I'll do this, or I'll change the, uh, for the illumination for LED. So you can work with the different approach. Uh, to to finish, I show you the importance of have your own smart meters. So we use this data set. We have the map of where are the smart meters. So we take a look at Baru, one of the buildings that we choose for the other case of, of study. And then we can hang all the smart meters. And you see, well, that's it's in the middle. Uh, we are attacking this one to see what we can do to reduce the consumption of energy. And then, uh, to finish, you can cross-relate it with temperature. As the temperature uh, rise, the consumption of energy rise. And during the the interval of classes, they reduce, and and so on. So you have a load uh, of electricity during the day, and you can do some uh, some approach to take off during the period of interval. Take off all the air conditioners automatically. It's a cut of demand. You can control demand if you monitor it. So that's it. And to finish, you can put publish your work. So I did this for my boss. They can open his smartphone and show, oh, I spent in 2000 this amount of money in electricity, it is in water. Oh, no, I'm sitting in front of my desktop or my laptop. OK, access from the browser. So Power BI. Uh, give this uh, opportunity. So in the slides, if you uh, take a, this QR code, you see this in your cell phone. So it, 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 what you can see, you try to, to change. Not only me, but everybody in, in the universe. So that's it. Uh, that's what I, I, I came to show you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your very good presentation. Uh, he mentioned here the, the center in which we work together. We have around 200 people working together there. The main responsible is Luis. And then we have also uh, Professor Barbara Teruel, which will present now. She is also part of CPTEN. He is part of CPTEN. So if you'd like to interact with us about uh, uh, energy transition and topics like this one, we are available. So maybe we have time for one question. You? OK. You talked about uh, different, you use different communication channels, different types of communications. Do you have issues with data communications? You have a lot of loss of data on the communication channels, or you don't have 
problems with this. No, no, it is always problems, Ricardo. But but uh, I I told Bo, uh, we have some equipments that are cabled with UTP cable, so it's less problem. But when you are in the outside outdoor area, we have problems. We have problems with maintains the the equipment, and they are not uh, they don't have a, a memory. So if they don't transmit, you lost the date. But I, I, I think it's more common the, the new smart meters to have a, a stick data so they can collect and when the channel will open, they transmit. So okay. thank you. At least we're not alone with the yes. data issues. We're all together in the problem to to guarantee the the data. Thank you. Thank you very much. So.